Okay, now I'm sitting here to together with uh, Karin Nilsson, which is the product manager for the Hack for Europe uh, Stockholm event. And Karin, how's the day been? <laughs> I think it's been quite good. Uh, it's quite late now, and um, there's just a few of us left. But I think it's yeah, I think it's good. And then we have to see tomorrow what um, what the outcome will be. You did a bit uh, different here in Stockholm, I'm told, with having a get-together with the people working within the government and within the institutions to actually get some, something more out of the uh, hackathon itself. Exactly. Uh, we thought that it was impo uh, important to make to make a buzz about the event as well, not just the event, not, the competi not only the competition. Since uh, the competition is so important, it shouldn't just pass by. The general attitude, been, if, if we talk about uh, the people which, with the actual say-so in this matter, when um, you get to a point of actual implementation, when, uh, what's the general attitude? What, what's the, what's the, what the, the most feared? Uh, sorry for the bad English. <laughs> no. uh, for the impl implementation, you mean for I think for getting it out, for getting it uh, licensed, the, the data, or which part? No, I was thinking about uh, Joanna Barry, who is, is sitting next there, over there, and uh, she was talking about the the, the cost of like uh, copyright and um, intellectual property and. When, when you, you have these immense archives, but the, the trouble of actually doing something with them. Yeah, I think there's mainly two parts of it. One thing is that, um, that people are, are scared, that Johanna talked about. It's like being scared of dogs or something. And then you don't know what to be scared of. So you just don't do anything. So that's one thing. And the other thing is that people don't value what they have. They think that this is just stuff and no one is really interested. So we just keep them because we are a museum and we have to have collections, but we don't really care about them. And then you don't do anything about them. I thought it was kind of uh, interesting when uh, Christina Alexanderson was talking about uh, the Great Depression. And uh, she pointed out, like, when you do a Google search and you look at the American archives and you have this immense, uh, you, 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 you really get the feeling about what's happened. Yeah. But when you look at the European depression, yeah. you get a totally different picture. Yeah. Uh, obviously, that's a, a big part that is how you see on history, what, how you view your history. Uh, Different countries have different ways of, of seeing on, on their own history, and it's like the the winner and the winner the winner exactly, and uh, therefore maybe it's it's more difficult to find information about that for from Germany, for example, because it started a, uh, the civil the, the World War Two in in Germany, and that's a, a completely different way of looking at it. In in the U.S., it's it's not that. Difficult, so it's a, it's, a, it's a political view on it. The other part that I that I thought of when she when she um, uh, talked is that the, the the pictures might be out there, but they're not tagged probably properly. Uh, you can't find them, and that's obviously what we're trying to do within uh, SOC, Kosam SOC, that we're trying to to get the information to be properly tagged and to have the, the correct metadata. I actually got the, the feeling like the, the white spot on the map. When you, I mean, actually, when you compare it, I mean, it's, it's still a, pretty, it's a bad thing to say, but still. But Europe is the white spot on the map. <laughs> That's quite bad, isn't it? It's really bad. <laughs> I, I don't think it's that bad. I think there's um, other parts of the world that is worse, but I think that we could do much better, yes. I was sitting there thinking about my daughter. She's she's born in the 20th century, uh, 21st century, 2004, and f I mean she's not even a digital. I mean I think she's beyond the digital native. Yeah. Because when she has to call me on the phone, yeah. 
that's a bit of a hassle because her mother has to fix the phone for her. But calling me on Skype, that's pretty easy. It's like she pu puts up her iPad and I'm like, Dad. Do, 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 do. Mm -hmm. But in, in an environment like that, how much, I mean, I, I see another problem with the digital natives. And when, I mean, we here are pretty um, informed about the uh, options. But on digital, a really digital native, I mean, if you're not Googled, you're not really there. No. Yeah. And uh, I think uh, for, for the child part of you, I think it's, it's, it's going to be more and more important to be digital. Otherwise, you don't exist. And I'm not the first one saying that. But it's, um, it's getting more and more like that. Yeah. Thank you, Corin, and, uh, and I'm not sure about the English word, but a big thank you for a great event. I mean, I'm, uh, for me as a producer, it's been really uh, so many good speakers, and we were down in the Bat Cave recently, just visiting the hackers sitting there working, and it's 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 like a church. It's completely silent, and everybody's sitting like. Doo -doo -doo. So I, I think it's very impressive. Thank you. Thank you.